very few gaming franchises have endured for as long as the Tomb Raider series. Since the release of the first Tomb Raider game in 1996, Lara Croft has become an iconic trademark within both gaming and movie industry, and with the massive success that the latest reboot trilogy had, it's fair to say that the series is not going anywhere anytime soon. In fact, it has been confirmed that Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics are currently working on the next AAA game, and while some fans feel there are a few things that should be learned from the reboot trilogy, there are also a few mistakes that should be addressed, and that brings us to this particular initiative. To try and have a clear idea of how the Tomb Raider fans feel about the series and its future, we created this survey a few weeks ago hoping that this can provide us with a clear picture of what fans want, but also hoping that this information can get filtered through the development team over at Crystal Dynamics. It's an objective that many people seem to relate with, and I want to thank each and every one of you who helped gather this data, and also wanted to thank fellow YouTubers Chris Carpinetti from Raidercast, Seth McKenzie and Steve of War for sharing the survey with their communities. I was expecting only a couple of hundred responses, but instead I am happy to share that 884 people completed the survey, and even though there are many more fans out there, this should already give us a general idea of what the Tomb Raider community thinks. And with that being said, here's the structure of this video. First, we're going to quickly break down the core groupings we've identified and we'll also reference throughout the video. Second, we'll go through what fans feel about the series in general and about the previous games and its timelines. And third, we're gonna talk about how people felt about certain elements from the previous games and how they would like to see them in the next game. I have added timestamps so you can jump into the parts that you are most interested in. So with that out of the way, let us begin. The geographic location of responses had a strong bias towards Europe and North America, where 75% of responses were men, and that 50% of the average gamer age is between 25 to 34 years old. This is an interesting statistic, as I believe this shows that despite of its 25 years of legacy, Tomb Raider still manages to appeal to younger audiences, and still manages to bring new players into the series. This can also be confirmed in the next section, the franchise experience and opinions, where you can see that even though the majority of people who took the survey played their first Tomb Raider game in the classic era, there were still 15% of people who started the game with Legend Anniversary on in the world, and 7% who started the game with the reboot trilogy. While approximately 70% of fans started their Tomb Raider journey with the classic games, 81% of people played all of the mainline games to date. This shows that even though some fans might have started the series with later games, they were still interested on in going back and experience all the Tomb Raider games. Also very interesting to know is how did gamers first experience Tomb Raider, right? According to the responses received, word of mouth seems to be the most popular way to be introduced to the series, with 40% of gamers selecting this option. But also 25% of people were introduced to the series simply by luck. I mean, considering that nearly 80% of people that responded to the survey first played Tomb Raider with one of the classic games, this is somehow expected as the internet was pretty much non-existent back then. Even though there was a big advertising of Lara Croft back in the day, this can maybe mean that Square Enix is probably not investing enough on advertising these days, or maybe it can simply mean that people are not as interested as they were back in the day. Anyways, let's head into the good stuff, shall we? According to our survey, the fans' favorite game is Tomb Raider 2 with 19%, following from Tomb Raider 3 with 12%, Tomb Raider 1 and Tomb Raider Legend with 11%, and also Angel of Darkness and The Last Revelation with an horrible 10%. And something that I was not expecting, the overall least favorite game is Tomb Raider 2013 with 18%. That's crazy with the amount of units that this game sold, it's unbelievable! And also 16% for both Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness and Tomb Raider Chronicles. Honestly, I thought Tomb Raider 2013 would be up there as a fan favorite, and I also thought that Angel of Darkness would be number one in both favorite and least favorite from the series. But I guess I was partially wrong. Anyway, before we continue, I'm just going to break down this individually, as I feel this is quite interesting. But before I do, please note that for players who started playing Tomb Raider with the classic game, 
I'll be calling them classic starters. Players who started with Legend University or Underworld, I'll call LAU starters, and players who started with the game from the Survivor Trilogy, I'll call Reboot starters. So, as you can see, classic starters are quite consistent with the overall results, ranking Tomb Raider 2 as favourite, but also ranking Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness and Tomb Raider 2013 as least favourites with 17% and 19% accordingly. Man, this love-hate feeling towards AOD was exactly what I was expecting. Moving on to LAU starters, they preferred Tomb Raider Legend with 21%, having Anniversary, AOD and Rise as second best with 11%, but this time they rank Chronicles at their least favourite. And finally, we can see that the reboot starters ranked Rise of the Tomb Raider as their favourite game with 41% of the votes. That's crazy! as there is a massive difference in sales from the first to the second game on the reboot series. I'm quite curious about this, so if you are a reboot starter, please let me know what you think on the comment section below. And the same concept goes to the preferred timelines as well. In general, 47% of players prefer the original timeline, 24% do not have a preference, then it's 18 for LAU timeline and 11% prefers the reboot timeline. And this ratio is quite consistent for the separated stats of the Classic and Survivor starters as well. However, when it comes to LAU starters, it gets a bit divisive, as 36% feel that they prefer the LAU timeline, but 34% feel that they like all the timelines equally. Another crazy statistic worth noting is that 95.7% of people who watches and like these videos are not even subscribers, so if you are one of them, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It does really help the channel grow and I would be much appreciated. So moving on, let's have a look at what people think about Lara as an individual. Design-wise, 30% of people thought LAU Lara was the best looking Lara out there, following from the Angel of Darkness model with 23%. And that's pretty consistent to what people want to see in the next games. In fact, after the statue from the Tomb Raider experience had been revealed, Fans are speculating if this model is the unified look that we have been promised. If you pay close attention to it, it does look like Lara has the 2013 top and hair, the underworld shorts, and the braid and backpack from the classic games. What do you think? Is this the look of the next game? Let me know in the section comments below. When it comes to her personality, fans feel that Lara's personality from the classic games is the most interesting one, with 41% voting on her, and that's what they want to see in the next game as well. What fans appear to reject is Lara being the sentimental type shown on the latest trilogy, and also dramatically in my opinion, fans do not want to see Shelley Bond as the next voice for Lara, as only 10% of the fans chose her to be the next VA. Thing is, 91% of the fans do want to see, or they don't mind seeing the return of a voice actress, with Kili Hose being the top of the chart with 33%. And she appears to be the favourite among fans with 26%, voting her as the best voice of all time. I personally would like a new VA because each and every one of them is so special and unique to me that I couldn't choose between any of them at the moment. While looking at the gameplay elements and features that fans want to see in the next game, it was pretty clear that the puzzles and platforming and the ambience and the music are the most important things and fans feel that these elements have to be absolutely nailed on in the next game. Plus, 58% stated that they found the survival instincts useful, but only 25% want this to feature in the next game, with 40% willing to give it a go, but only if an easy mode exists. 70% of fans also want to see a more athletic Lara rather than the realistic approach that the reboot series took. A staggering 93% want to see the return of the Croft Manor as an optional level. 96% of fans would like to see returning NPCs back to the story, but 51% say that they don't mind as long as they are meaningful to the plot. And lastly, but not least, Fans feel that vehicles are a must-have in the next game as 68% would love to ride the vehicle again. And this leads us to the last couple of questions of this last section. While asking if fans would like for the next AAA game to be a remake of a previous title, 44% said that they don't mind as long as the game is well executed, 
28% for both no and yes, that's 72% in favor of a remake, and the most requested title is Tomb Raider 2 Remake with 32%, following from AOD with 23%. This is not a surprise for anyone at this point, as fans are already working on both remakes, so surely the developers could pick up from one of these works, right? Nah, maybe not. Why you ask? Because when fans were asked if they trust the current development team at Crystal Dynamics, their responses were somehow intriguing. 46% said they were not sure if they trust this team with Tomb Raider. Plus, only 22% believes that they will be able to deliver a compelling game that will unify both timelines as promised. On the bright side, only 31% stated they would choose a different team to work on the next game. So I believe that the current team still have the fan base behind them, but I feel that the next game will be crucial to determine whether fans will support them going forward or not. In my opinion, adding mandatory proper ancient tombs would be a good start to fall into our good books, since 83% of us believe that tombs should always feature in a Tomb Raider game. If you still don't believe me, when I ask you guys what do you believe it is essential to create a great Tomb Raider game, 170 of you decided to mention tombs again, even though you have already responded to a question about tombs before in this survey. And with that being said, I believe we're done for today now. Thank you so much for watching if you're still with us. I know this was long, there were 44 questions in this survey, and even though I have not covered them all, I truly hope that you found the insights we've talked about here useful. If you would still like to go through every response, I have attached the link of the survey analysis into the description box below. Bartol is Hideout signing out, thanks for watching, stay safe, and until our next adventure.